Out to Ireland now, where a very special concert in Northern Ireland this week will commemorate the Paschal fire lit by St. Patrick on the Hill of Slane in 433 A.D. Dana, a world-famous Catholic artist who is also the first Irish winner of the Eurovision contest, will be singing her chart-topping hit, Light the Fire, at the Stormont Parliament buildings in Northern Ireland. Immediately following, a symbolic Paschal fire will be lit on the Parliament building steps. And Dana joins us now. So good to be with you. Um, always great to Thank have you back you. on the show. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit more about the concert this week and what people can expect. Well, the song Light the Fire was actually inspired by St. Patrick at the behest of my late brother-in-law, Father Kevin Scallon. He said, you know, he's a saint for today and his message is for the whole world. And I surprised myself at how little I knew about him, apart from shamrocks and snakes and green. But in fact, he was, uh, he was a victim of human trafficking. He, he was a slave. Uh, he had lost his faith and found it in his suffering. And he came back to a society that was pagan with human sacrifice. Mm. And the fire he lit converted Ireland and then missionaries went out from Ireland. So this song has become more of a movement. Uh, my husband um, felt we needed to go to the Hill of Slain where St. Patrick lit that fire, which we did last August, and almost 4,000 people joined us for rosary and holy mass and Eucharistic healing and song, and it was so joyful, and it's become a movement. And so the Bishop of the Church of Ireland, that would be the equivalent of the Episcopal Church or the Church of England, um, Bishop David Maclay, he, he loved that, and he also felt drawn to light the, the fire outside his cathedral, uh, in the grounds of his cathedral is the burial place of St. Patrick, St. Bridget, and St. Columba. I, I couldn't be with him this St. Patrick's Day, but he wanted me to come to Stormont Parliament Buildings, which has just reconvened after uh, many years now of not being able to proceed because of division. And we will have prayer. There's a, um, an, an ecumenical choir. I will sing Light the Fire. We will pray for the politicians who will make decisions about the future of, of Northern Ireland. And then afterwards, he will light on the steps of that parliament the, the fire, the Paschal fire, as St. Patrick did. And, and really, it's a fire of faith and hope and love. Mm. Dana, I love so much that you're doing this. This is so beautiful. Um, we're almost out of time, unfortunately. But how many people are you expecting to be there? And if people can't attend, uh, is there a way for them to watch? Um, this, I hope, will be streamed, and I will let you know if it is. But it's really for the politicians and leaders of both churches, um, people in politics, people in, in all walks of life that are leaders. And, you know, we just had two referenda rejected the biggest no vote in the history of Ireland where they wanted to change the definition of family and remove a reference to mother. And we need to light that fire that St. Patrick lit. We need it in our own hearts and we need, to, and I will be actually having a mission of light the fire in St. Patrick's Cathedral, New York next year, where so many people fled and found a home and brought their faith to that to that wonderful city. So please keep the mission of light the fire in your prayers. We absolutely will. And Dana, please keep us posted on everything. We appreciate it. God bless you. And you.